welcome back to Mr. Obsolete's Vintage Homesteading Channel. Well, we have a new addition to the Vintage Homestead. So is it a new farm animal? Nope. Is it a new cat? Nope. Well, Grey Poupon here isn't a new addition recently, but a while back the neighbor cat came over and got into the house, tore a hole in the insulation and left the three kitties for us and ran off and left them. So this is Grey Poupon. You can see he's gray and the Poupon part you can figure out on your own. But what we do have, I have a new partner. A new vintage chainsaw, which is better than all of them. So this is a 1979, which is not new obviously, but it's new for the homestead. And it's a 55cc homeowner saw. Came off from Craigslist and paid the big sum of $25 for it. Came with a bunch of chains. And for you that have chainsaws know what this is, but for you that don't, it's a scrunch, which is a combination of wrench and screwdriver. So the top part is for the spark plug. One on here is for loosening the bar, and then the screwdriver is for adjusting the chain. And the partner chainsaws were a Swedish made chainsaw, and even though they weren't tremendously successful, they were at the, a standout leader of technology in the chainsaw market and they were for the era they were much better than the steels and the Husqvarna's but being good doesn't mean that you're gonna make it in the business world so we'll just take it out here and get cutting well we're here to cut some wood gotta put on our safety glasses and our ears if you watch some of our former videos you'll see me just pick up the saw and start cutting. They don't do that, I always warm them up before I do any cutting with them and I've warmed this up already so. Okay we'll come to the end here, cut it to firewood lengths, come up here and cut it here and here. So there you see, $25 worth of treasure. One man's junk is somebody else's treasure. So remember, vintage is best. <laughs> 